All right, so good morning, student. Uh, today, what we will do is we will talk about uh, mechanics. This is going to be a lecture on mechanics, okay? And the topic I've chosen today is inclined plane. And on the inclined plane, what you have is a mass. Okay, this is the tension, and this is the angle of incline. The problem, the lecture is focused on the fact that what are the values of T, the tension, which can hold this block in equilibrium, which means the net force on the block is zero. What are the possible values of tension, which will hold it in its place? Okay. Now, as you know, when we do inclined plane, okay, and so there is a friction there, I told you. So the force of friction is represented by F. What is the first step you do whenever you hear the, you know, inclined plane? Okay, our job is to keep this in equilibrium with the help of tension, right? So, but there can be multiple scenarios, right? What are the possible values of tension for which it will stay in equilibrium? That's a question today, okay? So, first step is always whenever you see an inclined plane, you have to do resolution of the forces into perpendicular and parallel, right? In the case of inclined plane, choose your axis correctly. This axis becomes the x-axis and this axis becomes the y-axis. I think you, you may already know that. So this is not a very basic level uh, mechanics lecture. There are many lectures I have poured pertaining to mechanics, especially inclined plane. How do you handle inclined plane questions? So go and watch them also, okay? This is slightly an intermediate level of uh, question or a lecture, okay? So let's say you have this situation and the normal reaction which is coming is R, okay? This is the normal reaction which is coming. And the if you have to write the equation for this, there are two things you need to do. First, you need to think, uh, okay, before we do that, let's put this in equilibrium and for this diagram, write an equation. So, tension is equal to F and the mass is M, okay? So, the mass is, so let's say the weight is W, okay? So, the weight is W. So, tension is equal to force of friction. F plus W. Okay, so this is the tension. Okay, I'm going to resolve the weight. The component of the weight which will come here is W sine alpha, right? This is the scenario of equilibrium. Okay, but we have to find the possible values of T for which it stays in equilibrium. Okay. Now, the other thing we know is that the force of friction okay, can be written as mu into r, okay, mu into r. So, these, these are the two basic equations you need to write for this body to be in equilibrium, okay. I hope you know that. But our emphasis today is to, uh, you know, find the possible values of tension for which uh, this body can stay in equilibrium, okay. So, situation number one, the situation number one is that the body, this particular body, this particular body wants to go, it wants to slip, okay, it wants to slip down. It wants to slip down. If it wants to slip down, what will happen? If it wants to slip down, the force of, that means it has a tendency to slip. It is still stationary. So, the body is stationary, but it has a tendency, it has a tendency to go down. That is just the tendency it has. Okay. If this is the case, what happens to the direction of friction? If the body has a tendency to go down, the force of friction goes up. The force of friction goes up, right? So, therefore, 
the tension in the string right will be what the tension will be equal to mu r right this is the force of friction plus w sin alpha when the body has a tendency to go up when the body has a tendency to go up the force of friction will be the will be downwards okay so sorry the body has a tendency to go down when the body has a tendency to go down the force of friction will be upwards right so in this case t plus f okay so i will just correct myself this is going to be t plus f is equal to w sin alpha right because the body has a tendency to go down the friction also is upwards so the tension plus friction okay this is your friction and obviously this is static friction because the body has not moved it only has a tendency now situation number 2 the body has a tendency to go up if the body has a tendency to go up the force of friction is downward right and therefore the tension needed to maintain this tendency right will be equal to so i will just write w sin alpha is equal to f plus w sin alpha right so these so you can see this is a tendency to go up and this is a tendency to go down you can see there are two scenarios which actually come up to support the assertion we made how many possible values of tension are there which will result in equilibrium so one is you know you have written the values of tension with this in mind that the tendency is to go down or the tendency is to go up so whenever you do an inclined plane question always read very carefully based on this lecture whether the body has a tendency to go up or the body has a tendency to go down okay this actually tells you the range of tension required to keep it in equilibrium you can have a range from some value to another now see when the body has a tendency to go down the value of tension you get is equal to w sin alpha minus mu r right so if a body has a tendency to go down if the body has a tendency to go down the tension is less because this is w sin alpha minus mu r less tension low amount of tension if the body has a tendency to go up you need more tension so if you are holding the string here okay depending on what is the tendency of the body you can adjust your tension so if somebody says what is the what are the possible ranges in which this body will stay in equilibrium then the range is from this value which is the highest value to this value any tension which is between f plus w sin alpha to f sorry w sin alpha minus mu r this is also mu r and obviously you know right r is equal to w cos alpha so w sin alpha minus mu w cos alpha is less than t is less than mu w cos alpha plus w sin alpha right so you can see the whole expression has been calculated in a certain manner where even the force of friction mu w has been introduced right mu w so this also becomes mu w cos alpha so you can see now this is the range of 
the tension in which you can keep the tension for the body to stay in equilibrium. It only has a tendency to go up or down. Right? So, the range of tension was our motive. We were supposed to find the possible values of tension for which the body will stay in equilibrium. Step number one, write the equation of equilibrium in x-axis and the y-axis. After that, take two scenarios. Tendency to go down, the friction is up. Tendency to go up, the friction is down. Calculate the value of tension. If the tension is uh, you can see the two values of the tension. So any value of tension which is between these two will give you equilibrium position. Convert the force of friction into mu W cos alpha. And you are sorted out. You can easily solve the question. Right? So this was, you can go to my playlist of mechanics. You have numerous mechanics lectures for NEET examination, J mains examination, or any board you're preparing for. Could be AP Physics, could be IB board, could be Cambridge, could be at Excel. So you can go, or state boards, if you're in class 11th, it is very useful for you. Don't miss my classical mechanics playlist. Subscribe to this channel. Every question you will do here and learn here is going to help you score a higher rank. A higher mark and will help you build a better career. Thank you very much for your time today and look forward to meet you soon.